my video for October 21st, 2018, which is video number 2882, is entitled my second, 72nd birthday video. Well, it looks as if I will make it till my eighth repeat of my nine year cycle. Yes, it's about reducing the numbers to a single digit. In my case, I will be nine for the eighth time. <laughs> my dad died just past his 54th birthday. He only got to repeat the cycle six times. While I'd like to go nine more years and complete nine cycles of nine, there are indicators that pop up from time to time as warning signs shortness of breath, dizziness, pain in the chest and arm, for example. My, of course, the numbness in my feet has been continuous since my second open heart surgery. My dad had four of those, but I will not subject myself to that ever again. As I've said many times in the past couple of years, none of us know for sure what lies in our future either as individuals or as collective humanity. Many, as I did for a long time, think they know, but humans can never be certain. Those who claim certainty to me are deluded. In any case, I want to thank those who have stood with me since I began making daily videos in January 2011, especially those who take the time to comment every once in a while. Your support, even when you do not agree with all I say, is much appreciated. May God grant us all a better future than our past. It's interesting because I actually wrote that uh, blurb and title uh, yesterday morning after, immediately after I uh, posted the other video, uh, or actually prepared the, the thing for the current video. I was one day ahead of time. And then I, as I always do, I went to the park for my two mile walk and I probably suffered another heart attack while I'm walking in the park. And I haven't, that hasn't happened for a good while, but it happened again yesterday on the 20th. I'm recording this on, or it happened on the 19th. I re, I'm recording this on the 20th. Uh, so it actually happened on the morning of the 19th. But I had to find a place to sit down until I could gather myself again because, again, my vision got blurred. And that's one of the, one of the effects that I've noticed. Uh, and I get blurred vision from time to time with no other symptoms. But uh, this particular time, uh, I was in a little bit of pain for a it, it only lasts for a, a very short period of time, maybe two or three minutes, and then it subsides and I'm able to continue on. Uh, but again, I haven't had that uh, occurrence for a good while. And the dizziness from time to time, but not, not the pain. In any case, folks, I'm going to be here until I'm not here anymore. And uh, as I I think I shared in recent videos, I had uh, two of my relatives who died suddenly. I mean, my uncle Tuck, who was named Thomas, we didn't call him Uncle Thomas, we called him Uncle Tuck. He took me to school one day and then when I got home, he was gone. And uh, my uncle Andy was helping a neighbor kid who lived right, they lived right close to where I grew up. And he sat down and said he felt f funny and he dropped out of a heart attack. So it does run a couple of generations ago in my family. And of course, my dad, as I said in the blurb, died at 54 and he had four open heart surgeries and two operations to remove scar tissue from his lungs as a result of those surgeries. His doctor that performed the surgeries died even younger than my dad did. Uh, he only lived into his 40s uh, as a heart surgeon. Uh, and a lot of, it's interesting, I, I looked at uh, some information online. Uh, I don't remember how I happened to get into that. But uh, in any case, a lot of professionals, 
especially doctors, die very young. Uh, so I find that interesting. I don't know why. I don't know what the correlation is. But a lot of people that help other people supposedly extend their lives do not extend their own lives. Uh, and I am going to change the uh, birthday greeting uh, as of this video, and I'll probably change it on my next birthday for, and I'll let the whatever I choose for this year, the next year, uh, run for a full year. So I, I am going to make some changes, uh, but I'm still planning on making videos every day. I'm still planning on continuing until I can't continue anymore. Uh, I'm really pleased that uh, God allows me to go on, as, I, as I've said in other videos, perhaps even recently, uh, when they didn't think I was going to survive when I had my stroke and heart attacks. Uh, they thought my heart was too badly damaged to even endure another operation. So they sent me to the teaching hospital at Shands uh, at the University of Florida. And uh, I told them, yes, I, I think I'm going to live because my mission's not finished yet. And I have been a man with a mission since I was a boy with a mission. Uh, as I've said, also, I preached my first sermon in a, con in a church just after I turned 14, uh, had a few hundred, that was the largest church in the Assemblies of God, and uh, it was in Patterson, New Jersey, Bethany Assembly of God. Uh, they've since, after that, they moved to Wyckoff, having, making two Assemblies of God churches in, in Wyckoff, and my father used to be the song leader in the other, the original Wyckoff Assembly of God church. So, I have a history in the assembly of God. Uh, I have a history of preaching. I have a history of talking to metaphysical groups and, and groups of various religions, because to me, the whole purpose of life is to build bridges, to make connections, and most importantly of all, to love one another, even those that you do not share the common ground of a, of a single religion or a single ideology. Uh, we need to listen to one another. We need to uh, do our best to love one another and to show respect to one another. And that's one of the reasons I end up blocking people on my channel because they, they don't show respect. They, they are very, very critical and call names and stuff like that, and, and none of us have to tolerate that kind of treatment, uh, especially if we have a choice, and my choice is to block them on YouTube or face, unfriend them on Facebook, uh, and I've done that a number of times. I still, on YouTube, I get, uh, it, it says I have comments, but I don't even see all the comments, so it still allows other people apparently to see comments that people m make uh, that I've blocked. So I don't know how the system runs. I don't know how anything works. I used to think I knew what was going to happen. Uh, Jesus was going to come back and establish the kingdom of heaven on earth. Well, I'm not going to hold my breath for that. Will that ever happen? I don't know. Now, I make a video tomorrow with a resto. It'll be made on my birthday, but it'll be for the day after. And he doesn't agree with me that it's up to God. And a lot of people don't. It's up to us. Well, again, like I keep saying, if it's up to us, we lose. Because we do not have the codons turned on and the gifts, talents, and abilities and capabilities of actually making the changes that need to be made to shift the world to a higher consciousness and to a higher way of seeing and living. And that's what I want and hope for. And I hope I live to see it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. Uh, thank you folks for listening and namaste.